Dear President Biden, dear Excellencies, I am grateful for the opportunity to be part of the second summit for democracy that promotes fundamental democratic values, give new dynamics to partnership relations, and enables Montenegro to demonstrate its commitment to universal democratic principles in the spirit of alliance. At this moment, when we all feel consequence of the aggression against Ukraine, and until recently we are fighting the pandemic, it's our duty to actively work together to preserve democracy. Since the renewal of independence, Montenegro has been devoted to the implementation of necessary reform, and as a member of NATO, it continues to contribute to collective security. Facing democratic challenge, we remind truly commitment to European integration as our foreign policy priority. I want to emphasize that Montenegro achieved concrete results in the fight against corruption and organized crime through a series of action by the police and the special prosecutor office. The recent election of the Constitutional Court judges sent a clear message that Montenegro is committed to strengthening democracy institutions. At the same time, cooperation with NGOs was intensified and concrete steps were taken for the sake of improving the exceptional legal framework. I will remind you that the last year Montenegro was targeted by several cyber attacks that show the weakness of the system. And therefore, I would like to emphasize the importance of improving democracy through technology. The computer incident response team was formed and necessary steps from Digital Academy and the Agency for Cybersecurity are taken. Support for free and independent media is a crucial condition for the functioning of democratic societies. Therefore, we continue our full commitment to fight for freedom of speech and environmental in which journalists will feel very safe. The most important task is to ensure the rule of law by securing equality of citizens, building stronger and more efficient institutions, preserving security, fighting corruption and organized crime, strengthening the independence of the judiciary, improving the position of members of minorities and supporting free and independent media. Dear colleagues, I hope and expect that we will be part of our collective voice that will reach every corner of our planet. We have a dream of a world in which democracy prevails. Montenegro is on the team.